we we are here with Katarina. Katarina, tell us how the fires has affected you and your family. You burned my farm. But, yeah, I got no more corn for today. And you were telling us that the copper trees got burned as well? Yes. Everybody in the village, all the men and the women, go for it every three days. For copal? Yes. But right now it's burned. All the men are inside their house right now. We have nothing to do. We only stay at home and we want money for our children. You need. The, you want to make an appeal to the government yes. to come back here in Otosha and help these people. Mm -hmm. Because we, our children always want something to eat every day. They want coffee in the morning and we have no more money to buy. Because you don't make money from mm -hmm. the copal anymore. Yes. Copal is an incense that the Maya people use in their ceremonies, but also they trade it with Guatemala for an, as an income. And right now that industry has been destroyed by the fires. That is our company in this village because we have we we know we know go out and work. We don't go out. We and know work. we know. No, go you out stay and, work, and you collect know, it and you. We know ask from the government. Yeah. So you are uh -huh. independent and yes. now you are in need of mm -hmm. government assistance. Yes. Keep in touch with the government yeah, me, to yeah. try the government to to send like the military to work the border line so that Guatemala cannot come in our area. So right so now Guatemala are, continue to come into our border. I, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. Some yeah. Yeah. because we know yeah. yeah. we know yeah. right to go and, and you check you know it because we know about nothing. Last, then. Yeah. Because well, I know about you see our, our children, they are green. He lasts. It's where they can go. We yeah. have no land. Our land is for our children, so that yeah. we like the government to fight for our to, to be live free. Yeah, so you guys are the ones here who have to stand up and defend the border. You live here, this is your village. I am saying that every village would have a patrol, paid patrol, with members from the village. You're not going to bring anybody from outside to patrol your village. You patrol your own border. All right? So... We do that sometimes already right now with San Jose. We go up there. We are the ones that expose what was happening in the Columbia Forest last yeah, month. Those guys are yeah. doing that. So we want that for every village and especially in Toledo East. <laughs> Prime Minister na kwash kie balre ut patwal usilal re de ka Prime Minister na kat amara usilal chiru na chal krach chikil bal ayi sa kakale bal otosha village. Um, I'm just gonna translate what the lady has just said. Um, actually she was talking about the kopal tree because that's that's the the real truth because that's the our main source of income in this community. Well, not just this community. I know that it's the same thing in other villages, but that's what she's trying to, her best to to plead to the government because that's the only way that we uh, make money every day. As she she has mentioned, some of us will bring like 15, 20 pong um, per week, and we sell that at ten dollars. So we'll have a um, little income to send our children or or bring food on the table but now that the fire has burned down everything because it is everything that has gone down to ashes and now we are suffering because there is no other means of making income in our community so she is pleading or we are pleading to the government that we really need help as we speak this we will sell to buy our daily needs and necessities now that all the trees have burned down we don't have Nothing close to depend on every three days in addition to this cornfields were born down coca trees and cardamom farms. When the forests have burned down this means we don't have nowhere to go and look for sticks and lumbers to build our homes. Medicinal plants were also burned down and also animals have went far away to escape from the fire. We no longer have them close to our village. We are kindly asking the government for assistance during this time. This is a very rough situation for us as we need help financially to take care and feed our families. We no longer have nowhere to get our income from. And we, and we don't have any stable jobs to earn a little money from. We only depend on the forest, the copal trees, our farms to earn money from. For three days, we will go and collect the sack from the copal trees and we will sell it by pounds. Some will bring home five 
pounds to 15 pounds. The price per pound is $10.